Hello students, welcome to Vidwat Academics. I am your maths tutor, Shweta. Today we are here with a new concept that is lines and angles from grade 7th. So, the, when you hear the word lines and angles, uh, the line, the line is a one which is a straight lines which are made up of a several points, right? So, the line is not a new word for you, right? We have also learned in our previous classes, right? So, let's recall that. So, a line is a one which is made up of a several points, that is a collection of the points, right? So, here AB is one of the line which has, which can be extended in both the directions, right? And it is not having a definite length, okay? The next is the line segment. The line segment is the one which is a portion of a line which is having a starting point and the ending point. This concepts we know, right? And the next one is an angle. So, how the angle is formed? When the two rays meet at a common point, then the angle is formed. Here, AB and AC are the two rays which are forming at a, which are forming an angle that is BAC. BAC is the angle, right? So, the next concept is Complementary angle. So, in this angle, so these are the common concepts we know, right? So, in these angles, we will classify the angles, okay? Has complementary angles. So, what are this complementary angle? So, in an angle, if the two angles, so these are called adjacent angles, right? If two angles measures to the 90 degree, then that is called complementary angle. Here, 60 plus 30 measures to the, the sum of these uh, angles, that is 60 and 30 gives rise to 90 degree. So, these, these angles are called as in complementary angles. So, we can call as 30 is complement to 60 and vice versa, that is 60 is complement to the 30. Here, we can see that the 30 degree and 60 degree, well, measures to a sum of 90 degree. So, those angles me measures to the sum of the 90 degree, those angles are called as a complementary angles, okay. The next is supplementary angles. So, what are these supplementary angles? We will see here, if the sum of the angles, if the sum of the angles measures to the 180 degree, if the sum of the angles measures to the 180 degree, then those two angles are called as a supplementary angles. See here, 120 plus 60 degree gives to 180 degree. So, this is called the supplementary angles. See here, the 120 and 60 degree sum up to 180 degree. So, this is called the supplementary angles, okay. So, the next one is adjacent angles. So, what are these adjacent angles? See here, the angle ABC and angle CBD. Angle ABC and angle CBD. Okay, these two angles are called as an adjacent angles. Why? Because it is having a common vertex as B. Okay, common vertex as B and common side BC. Okay, which two angles are having the common side and the common vertex? Those two angles are called as an adjacent angles. Okay, so it has to be ABC and CBD are the adjacent angles. The next topic is linear pace. So, what is a linear pair? A linear pair forms an adjacent angles. So, we learned about the adjacent angles, right? So, adjacent angles are one next to that, okay? Here, angle 1 and angle 2 are adjacent. So, the linear pair is also a pair of adjacent angles whose non-common side forms a straight angle. What is a non-common side here? OA and OB is a non-common side, right here. OA and OB is a non-common side. OA uh, which forms an angle for only for the angle 2 and OB forms an angle for only angle 1. So, OA and OB are the non-common side which AB forms a straight angle, right? So, and uh, here the O is the common vertex and OD is the common side. So, a linear pair is a, a linear pair is a, a pair of, a pair of Adjacent angle which non-common side forms a straight angle which has a common vertex O, common side OD and non-common side AO and OB which forms 180 degree. AB forms a 180 degree. Clear? So, here 1 and 2, the summation of 1 and 2 forms a 180 degree. So, it can also be called as supplementary angles. Okay. The next one is vertically opposite angles. Okay. Here we know that if two lines meet at a common point, 
uh, meet at a common point, then these two lines are called as in vertically opposite lines, right? So here these two are vertically opposite lines. So the angle made by the vertically opposite uh, lines are called as in vertically opposite angles. See here, angle one and angle three. Okay, angle one, one and three are called the vertically opposite angles, and angle two and angle four are vertically opposite angles. Okay, angle two and angle four are called vertically opposite angles. So here. Angle 1 is equal to angle 3 and angle 2 is equal to angle 4. Okay. Angle 2 is equal to angle 4. This is about the vertically opposite angles. That's all for today's session. In the next session, we will solve problems based upon these concepts. For more videos like this, please do subscribe to With With app and follow us on the social medias. To be the best, choose With With. Thank you.